have a vision board by vision board i mean have um a knowledge an idea of how you want your life to be and this is why this is important when you're going to pray uh, you're going in the presence of god right or you are meditating what are you meditating on if you do not have a vision a plan for your life if you do not have a vision of the type of person you want to be and also a vision board something people usually forget is if you get to the level of success that you want to get to what type of person do you want to get there as do you want to be like an arrogant fool or do you want to get there as wise and kind and humble and the type of person who fights for things you know like for the voice of the people who cannot speak up for themselves so in your vision board always have goals for the type of person you want to be the type of belief you want to have which means that you work actively towards that you don't just get there and it happens like a bam you know like it's a process so the more you have i believe that having a vision board gives you a clear detail of the things you're supposed to do it helps you push yourself to that state you don't get stuck in this place where you always it's like a fantasy you know you sit and you hope that things will automatically happen for you that things will just fall from the sky and happen for you you know for some people maybe that does happen in some situations in life that does happen but that's only because that's a grace god has given you because he knows that's out of your control but for the things that are in your control please have a plan have a list have a it's like a map you know google maps when you google like a place you want to go to you don't just fly you know you don't just drop there you wake up you prepare yourself you check the traffic what time is the traffic less or high and you align yourself to that timeline until you get to the place you want to go to so that's how a vision board is it's like a road map to your success okay the next one is um socialize i think i've spoken about socialize a lot and i feel like if you work at home or you have a very busy life or you're an introvert you can find a lot of excuses to say that you cannot socialize and having spoken about the the person you want to be in your future you have to socialize with people who align with the future you see for yourself let's say for example if you see yourself like you want to get to the level of elon musk you have to look for people around you who have that mindset an elon musk type of mindset if you want to have to be an opera in the future you have to hang around people who are like opera you know who have an opera mindset and by that i mean visions that align people who are willing to work for what they want in their life and it's not just talk you know people who are willing to sacrifice people you can see they are putting in the work also you can put in people who have already gotten there like for example like for me a lot of my mentors are far from the type of person i am and the reason why i respect them and honor them and hope to keep them for you know for a long time in my life if that's god's will is because i've seen things in them that i would love to adopt into my life because they actively live that life they've already gotten there and they're getting better so even when i have interactions with them it's educative you know i learn things what to do or not to do what to stop doing what to work on because you know even your character is very you know even your own personality and character is an investment to the type of person you want to be so let's say if you're struggling with things like anger or you're struggling with things like gossip you can't hang around people who are like who are like that you have to hang around people who know how to be still when the pressure is on people who know how to you know mind their business even when they're pressure to talk about situations which are not adding value to their life you get like people who just have things in their life they know what to do if i get from point a i'm going for to point b i'm going to point c you know people who have things together you know together 
next one is be grounded here's the thing that i've learned about life if you go around life thinking that you are on top of the world you're above everyone else whoa one day you will find yourself down and it's not a prayer that i'm praying for anyone but it's something i've watched i've watched people you know uh forget that everything they have in their life is god given there are people who are very hard working who have you know who struggle even to get a penny so i think it's important for all of us to remember that humility is so powerful humility is a protection of yourself humility is a protection of your success so always be humble in whatever you're doing go like go about it from a clean place you know and humility like i always say does not mean allow people to step on you i think you can stand your ground and and be humble like for example jesus he is the same guy who beat people out of his temple because they were making it a marketplace and yet throughout life we understand that jesus was the most humble god you know half god half man he was so humble and yet he stood up for people he spoke up when he was supposed to speak up he acted from a place of purity and i think that's what's important to act from a place of purity not to keep up appearances because there's a difference between i think there are people who um and maybe we've all been guilty of it where we act a certain way because it's pleasing to people but deep down you know it's not the right thing so yeah be humble do things from a pure place the next one is um i'm just going to read it out the way i've written it is write down what you take for granted write them down and find a way to always include them in your daily routine so this means that whatever you take for granted find a way to appreciate it and you know my belief system is this this is what i believe about my life is that if i live to my ultimate highest self that is a worship to god so that means that when it comes to family love people you know have time for your family have time for your friends have time for yourself have time for your faith you know have a way to include things in your life no matter how hard it is and i'm not saying do them according to a timeline or a standard of people because there are people who can only afford once a week to see their family or maybe twice in a month and it's not because they are doing something that is not an obligation or a responsibility it's just how their purpose or their life has been planned out you know so i feel like find a way in your time to include everything that god has placed in your life because there's a reason why god has placed you in a certain family there's a reason why you've met the people you've met there is a reason why you're in the location you are at the environment you're at so find a way to like appreciate those things in a way that feels true to you and to god not to like the entire world Ushai try queen press hater me neither